graphical graphs in practical situations. Waha kalo nso gada na straight line graphs. Manto han gada na na chapter ka kaip tis dahad matrices. Matrices, learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to define matrix, classify the types of matrix, display information in the form of a matrix of any other order, interpret equality of matrices, transpose of matrix, add or subtract two or more matrices. Now, a matrix is simply a, uh, is simply a rectangular or a square array of numbers arranged in rows and columns. Now, array of numbers means a pattern of numbers. Now, matrix can be represented in this way. We normally write A, 1, 1, A, 1, 2, meaning a first row, first column, First row, second column. We can as well say this one, 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one means second row, first column. 2-2 uh, two, two means second row, uh, second uh, column. So matrix is always enclosed with brackets. You always enclose with brackets. The numbers inside, they are called, or letters inside, we call them elements. They are called elements or we can call them entries. We can call them elements or entries. Now, special matrices, uh, we have null or zero matrix. A zero matrix uh, has zero entries, has zero entries, and is represented by that one. So that one is uh, a null uh, matrix or a zero matrix. Zero matrix. Everything that is inside is zero. So that is known as null matrix. A square matrix has the same number of rows and the same number of columns. We can say a two by two matrix, three by three matrix, when the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, number of rows is equal to the number of columns, then that one becomes a square matrix. It can have, this one might have order a two by two or uh, three by three. You can say, for example, A, B, A, C, D. So that one is an example of a square matrix. Uh, you can as well write this. Now the order here is two rows and two columns. So the order or the size of the matrix is two by two. As well, we can say uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are they are called entries. So the order of this matrix is three rows and three columns. So the size of that particular matrix is known as a three by three matrix. So these are examples of a square matrix. Next, row matrix. A row matrix has only one row. A row matrix has only one row, like this, one, two, three, so this one has one row. So this one is the same as one, the, the order is, this is one by three, but generally a row matrix has order one by n, where n is the number of columns, where n is the number of columns. So this is the general formula for the row matrix. Row matrix has a same, a row matrix has only one row, one row. The column has only one column. Column has only one column. Column matrix is like this now. You can write, for example, four, five, six, that way. This one is a, an example of a column matrix. This is an example of a column matrix. This one is three rows and one column. Three rows and one column. Generally, we can say M multiplied by one, where M now becomes the number of rows, where M becomes the number of rows. Next, equal matrices have the same dimensions and equal entries. Equal matrix, uh, for example, let's say we have A, B, C, D, uh, A, B, C, and D, equal to, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the order of the first matrix is 2 by 2, 2 by 2, and this is also 2 by 2. The order must be the same. 
and uh, they must have equal entries. Now, A represents one, A corresponds to one, B corresponds to two, C corresponds to three, D corresponds to four. So, uh, equal matrices, they, they have the same dimensions and equal entries. Equal entries means the elements in the first bracket must also be the same as the element in the second uh, bracket. So that is uh, equal matrices. Equality of two matrices. Two matrices are equal if they have the same order and their corresponding elements are equal. Now example, you told find the value of A if, find the value of A if 2, 5 uh, minus 3, 4 is equal to, uh, the next one is A, 5, and then minus 3, 4, minus 3, 4. So therefore, uh, you, you look for the corresponding elements. A corresponds to A corresponds to 2, 5 corresponds to 5, minus 3 corresponds to minus 3, 4 corresponds to 4. So the value of A will be equal to, uh, the value of A will be equal to 2. The value of A is equal to 2. The next one, find the value of the unknown in each of the following. X plus 4, uh, 12, we have 8 there. 3 plus Z, that is the first matrix. The second matrix is 11, 8, 12, 7. So again, you look for the corresponding elements. X, the order is the same, 2 by 2, 2 by 2. So X plus 4 is equal to 11. Therefore, X is equal to 11 minus 4. You get X is equal to 7. So the value of x is 7. If you substitute 7 there, you get 7 plus 4, 11. 11 corresponds to 11. The next one is 3 plus z. 3 plus z is equal to uh, 7. 12 corresponds to 12, so 3 plus z corresponds to 7. z will be equal to 7 minus 3. z is equal to 4. z is equal to 4. So that is the answer to that question. Next example, uh, x plus y, x plus y, 1, 1, x minus y uh, is equal to uh, 3, 1, 1, and then minus 1. So you're told to look for the values of x, x and y. So x plus y corresponds to 3, x plus y corresponds to 3, and x minus y corresponds to minus 1. So using elimination method, you can find the value of x and y. So the elimination method will be, you just uh, uh, subtract these two, you just use plus sign there. So this will be 2x is equal to, 2x is equal to 2, therefore x is equal to 1. 2 means 3 minus 1 is 2, therefore divide both sides by 2, you get x is equal to 1. Now using substitution, you can be able to find the value of y. You just say x plus y is equal to 3, therefore 1 plus y is equal to 3, therefore y is equal to 3 minus 1, and therefore y is equal to 2. So the value of y is 2 there. The value of y is 2. So that is a second example. The next one is x plus y plus z. x plus y plus z. And then we have y plus z. And then 2z. 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 So this one is equal to 656. 656. And then you are asked to find the values of x, y, and z. You start from the, the bottom one. So therefore, that will be 2z is equal to 6. Z is equal to 3. Now you substitute Z there to 3. Therefore, that becomes Y plus Z is equal to 5. Therefore, Y plus, instead of Z, you put 3 is equal to 5. Y is equal to 2. Then lastly, you're told to calculate X. So X plus Y plus Z is equal to 6. Therefore, X, we don't know. We know Y is 2. Z is 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, x will be equal to 6 minus 5. x is equal to 1. So that is also the value of x, y, 
and z. The value of x, y, and z. Now transpose. The next uh, is transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. The word transpose here means when you interchange uh, the columns and the rows. You interchange the columns and the rows. For example, I mean if matrix A is, for example, A, B, C, D, and then you are told to find A transpose. A transpose will be equal to you only interchange. The first row becomes the first column. The second row becomes the second column. So then you write AT, meaning A transpose, is equal to AB and then CD. So that is what transpose means. Transpose means interchanging the rows and the columns. The rows and columns. Now example number one, you're told if A is, if A is uh, 2 minus 8, 2 minus 8, 3, 7, and then you're told to calculate A, T. A transpose means you only interchange the, the rows to columns. So the first row becomes the first column, 2 minus 8, and then 3, 7. So that is A. B, they have 1 minus 5, and minus 3 minus 2, and then BT, or B transpose, will be equal to 1 minus 5, and then minus 3 minus 2. You interchange the rows and columns. So that is what transpose of a matrix means. Transpose of a matrix. The next is uh, addition and subtraction of matrices. Matrices can be added or subtracted if they are of the same order. The sum of two or more matrices can be added, uh, can be added by the corresponding elements, and subtraction is also done in the same way. Subtraction is also done in the same way. Now, example, if P is equal to uh, 2, 5, 4, 0, 7, 3, and Q is, for example, uh, uh, this is, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be 6. We have 6, 2. We have 6, 2, and 5. Six, two, and five. If zero, seven, three, and therefore there we have one, three, eight, and six, two, five. And then you are told to add p plus q. P plus q. P plus q. Step number one is you look for whether the two uh, matrices they have the same order. The order of this one is two by three, meaning two rows and three columns. This is also 2 by 3, meaning 2 rows and 3 columns. So you add the corresponding elements. 2 corresponds to 1, that will be 2 plus 1. 5 corresponds to 3, that is 5 plus 3. 4 corresponds to 8, 4 plus 8. Then the next one is 0 plus 6, 0 plus 6, 7 plus 2, and then 3 plus 3 plus 5. So that is the corresponding elements. So this will be equal to 3, 8, 12, 6, 9, and 8. So this is the final answer. You look for the corresponding elements. The next is P minus Q. P minus Q, you just subtract P and Q. P, P minus Q will be, uh, you subtract P and Q. P minus Q, 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1, corresponding elements, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3, 4 minus 8, 4 minus 8, 0 minus 6, 0 minus 6, 7 minus 2, and then lastly 3 minus 5, 3 minus 5. Therefore, the final will be, this is 1, 2, minus 4, minus 6, 5, and minus 2. So that is the final answer for P minus Q. P minus Q. That is the final answer for example number one. Okay, the next. The next one is we have 3, 2, A. We have 3, 2, 1, 0, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, B. We have 2, 4, 1. 
and then uh, 120596 C C we have 802 and 135216 then you are asked to Find, find A minus B plus C. A minus B plus C. That is question number one. A minus B plus C. So A, I'll write everything there. You have 3, 2, 1, 0, 4, 5. 1, 3, 2 for A minus B. You have 2, 4, 1, 1, 2, 0. 5, 9, 6, and then plus C is 8, 8, 0, 2, 8, 0, 2, 1, 3, 5, and then 2, 1, 6. Then you are asked to find A minus B plus C. So you just subtract 3 minus 2 and then plus 8. That is 1 plus 8, you get 9. I'm uh, adding and subtracting corresponding elements. 3 minus 2 plus 8. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2 there. Then 1 minus 1, that is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. The next one is 0 minus 1. You get minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Then 4 minus 2 is 2. And then 2 plus 3 becomes 5. Then 5 minus 0 is 5, 5 plus 5, 10. Lastly, we have 1, then minus 4, 1 minus 5 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, minus 2, and then 3 minus, 5, minus 9 is minus 6, minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Then, lastly, we have 2 minus 6 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 6 is positive 2. So that is... The first one, A plus, A minus B plus C. B. B. A, we have A minus bracket A plus B. A, A minus bracket B plus C. You first of all add B plus C and then we subtract from A. So let's add B plus C. B plus C will be equal to, let me just write B plus C there. B plus C will be 2 plus 8, you get 10. And then 4, you get 4 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 2 is 3. And then this one corresponds to that one, you get 2. And then the next one is 5. The next one is 5 also. The next one is 7. The next one is 10. This is supposed to be 1 there, 10. And then this is 20. So this is A, now this is B plus C. So we subtract B plus C from uh, A. So A, A we have 3, 2, 1, 0, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, minus B plus C, which is 10, 4, 3, 2, 5, 5, then 7, 10, 20. So we subtract these two. You get minus 7. Then you get minus 2. And you get minus 2. You get minus 2 again. You get minus 9. And then you get 0 there. And then 0. That is minus 6. That is minus 7, and then minus 10. So that is a, a minus bracket B plus C. A minus bracket B plus C. Next, state the order of each of the following matrices the order of each of the following matrices. So this is minus 8, 3, 5, minus 4. I said order. This is two rows. We have two rows. This is R2, R1. 
and this is column C1 and then C2. So therefore, we have two rows and two columns. Two rows and two columns. So this is the order of the first matrix. Two by two matrix. We can as well call this one a square matrix. The next one is B. We have one, zero, minus five. One, zero, minus five. We only have that one. So this is only one row, R1. But the columns are three. We have one, two, three. So this is one by three. R, C. You always start with R and then followed by C. R, C. Ro uh, rows and then columns. Uh, the last example, C, is two. I mean, neg it was supposed to be negative there. Negative two, zero, six. Uh, 3, minus 7, 1, and 4, 2, 9. So the order of this one will be, we have R1, R2, and then R3. We have three rows. And then we also have three columns. Three columns, C1, C2, C3. So the order of this one is 3, by three matrix. Three by three matrix. Marka Asher can enter so quick yeah. By addition, the quality of matrices and size. Marka Asher Kahoskwe exercise.